day we rob Mr. Chow for his riches in gold. Uh, Mr. Chow, everyone knows that Mr. Chow is loaded. He's got gold on gold. What we're doing today is we're going to be heading to his mansion to steal that gold. And uh, we do have the heist set up. Today's going to be a very special heist. We have a escape boat right there. And we're going to be loading the gold onto that boat once we get to his house. We're going to be taking the Range Rover with our single axle trailer on over. Because if we can put the gold on here, we might just take it with the Range Rover. But after we get on the boat, we have to escape to an island uh, far, far away. Alright guys, let's get this escape boat set up at the house, so that way once we get there, it is ready to go. And uh, if you guys do enjoy today's video of our heist, and you want more heists like this, make sure to smash the like button. And subscribe if you guys are new. So, let's get on over to the house. Um, I'm not sure how well it's going to go. I think it should go pretty good, because Mr. Chow isn't that smart and he sleeps in. Uh, it is 10.30 in the morning right now, so it's a little earlier. Chow doesn't wake up till 1, so hopefully he stays upstairs in his house. And uh, we've been to his house one time before, so we know exactly where the gold is. So should be no problems. I'm going to get this escape boat set up, and uh, I'll see you guys once I'm there. I'm in the binoculars right now, and there's Mr. Chow's house. We can see a little bit of the fence, and there's the house. Um, it looks like he's got a bridge going on over a swamp with some water snakes oh goodness all right so i think we have to cross that bridge there go over and then there's the house because i think he built that recently but uh i'm gonna get out of this binoculars and we're gonna get this boat set up we don't want to draw attention to chow so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the boat up over on uh i think we're gonna get as close as we can but we don't want to draw attention or wake him up because this boat has got uh twin caterpillar diesel motors in it so the thing is really loud um i picked this up from my buddy in the military all right there's the house so we're gonna beach it right up on this island there we go I'm going to back it in. Okay, that seems good. We're close enough where we can walk over with the Range Rover once we get the gold loaded on that flatbed. Um, okay, let's just scope it out a little bit more. Let's hide in here. Okay, so there's the bridge. It goes over a little swamp area. Okay, okay. He is loaded. I see lots of nice vehicles, but I'm going to go ahead and walk back to the Range Rover. It's not real far. The marina is right down the road, so I'm going to walk back, guys, and I'll see you once I'm there. Hey guys, we're back down at the marina, and we're going to go head on down to um, Chow's house. I think we're just going to roll in straight with the Range Rover. Uh, I, I'm not really sure. I think Chow's got all the girls on him right now, so he's probably busy. Uh, or he's sleeping, one of the two. Or he's feeding his chickens, one of the three. So we're going to head on down. I don't think it's going to go horribly wrong. If we do, we'll just hop in the boat and go. Uh, but we are going to be escaping to a private island that we own. Um, some of the money that we work for at CJ Boats, I put into our private island, so that should be pretty good. So we have to cross this bridge up here, and then it is a private driveway, so hopefully no security guards stop us. Here it is, we are at Estancia La Pacho Drive, and we're going to be pulling in really fast. I'm not, I'm pretty sure the Range Rover will fit over the bridge. Chow gets monster trucks over it, so it should be pretty good. There it is. I see the house. So basically, I'm going to just sit on the side of the road, and then we're going to talk a little bit about what we're going to do when we roll in. But I'll tell you guys where the gold is located. Guys, we are sitting outside of Chow's entrance, uh, the little ramp or bridge that goes over his house. Uh, we do have the Range Rover, which is a good vehicle. Uh, you shouldn't see us coming. It's black on black, so it should be good. And we do have the single axle, like I said before, but... We did get information last time I took pictures of the gold. I just wanted to have a cool picture of it. It is thirty million dollars per pallet. Thirty million. So multiply that by four pallets that we're gonna rob. That's oh, that's way over one hundred twenty million. So that's gonna be crazy if we end up selling it for cash. That will be uh, pretty nice. But one hundred twenty million dollars is the high school for today. Uh, I think we're gonna be able to pull it off. We're just gonna have to see. But I'm going to get over to the bridge and we're going to go over that and then we're going to back in super fast and hopefully have no issues pulling the goal out of the house. So uh, let's head on over to the, the bridge and we'll get on going. This is Chow's private driveway so hopefully he doesn't have any sensors. So here's the bridge. 
Uh, okay, he's got cones everywhere. Let's go over this bridge, no problems. Let's not hit that. Here we go. Alright, we're going over. There's the jet ski that we sold to him at CJ Boats. Oh my god, how does he get a monster truck over this? Let's go in fast, guys. We've got to get this done. Alright, let's roll in. Looks like he's got free-range chickens all over the place. Of course, he does a gold trailer, Lamborghini, a rent. Oh my god, where's the gold at? Okay, okay. Um, Alright, it's in the house somewhere. I'm not 100%. I think it's to the left in his living room. Oh my god, he's got a go-kart going up his secret bookshelf. No? Guys, I don't see the gold. Let me look around a little bit more. Usually in the chest. Oh, there it is. There it is. There's the gold. Guys, here it is. Oh my goodness. That's that's 30 million a pallet. Well, let's just take him out to the Range Rover. I, I found him. Three of them pallets. Look at shoes. I don't think he can hear us. He's probably sleeping still. So uh, let's, let's be really quiet. His chickens are eating. Hopefully those chicken fighters don't come get us, but... We're loading these on. They're really heavy, but we're, I don't know, we're, we're really strong. And so, no problems there. But they're, uh, they do have a little handle on the bottom, so they're easy to lift up. But it is really heavy. They're about 200 pounds a pallet. Probably even more than that. There we go. And we're going to take the trailer load straight to the boat, load it on the boat. Is there any more, any more? No, no. Oh. There's another one. Let's grab it. Let's grab it. In his pantry. Why would he put gold in his pantry? Oh, this is the last one. We can't keep the boat running much longer. Well, we made it out, boys. We're going to go back to the boat and load it up. Um, we got to get it on over there. So I'll see you guys once we're at the boat. At the boat is right down there. We're going to just go ahead and back it down there. Nice and easy. We don't want to make any mistakes, but we're taking the gold to a private island. I'm going to change, the, I already changed the license plate, so if they match the Range Rover, Charles still won't know that it's me. Okay, let's take it on the boat, let's not get it wet. There we go. Just toss the car in the water, let's hop up in the boat. There we go, we're going to get going. We have a long journey, I think we have a four and a half hour boat ride on over to our private island. So hopefully the gold stays on, I have it strapped down correctly. So let's just maintain speed, and uh, I'm going to get going on over to the private island, which you guys will see once we get there. So uh, if you guys are still watching, thanks for watching, I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, let's get on going to the private island, guys. I'll see you once we're getting close. We just got out of the Bass River. Uh, we're clearing the markers right now, uh, so we can start speeding it up, but we're not at the island yet. We're very, very close. Um, so yeah, it shouldn't be too much longer till we get to the private island. I think it's, uh, 10 minutes in route on our Garmin GPS. Alright, here, yep, pinpointed on the radar. Nice. Uh, okay, so we're taking a little bit of a left here. Let me just adjust our autopilot. There we go. All four pallets have stayed on perfectly fine. What's nice is the gold is not going to scratch. It has a protectant on it. I think it's like... I think it's like chicken juice or something. I don't know how Chow puts on it, but it works. So that's good. It shouldn't get beat up too bad. But we had just robbed Mr. Chow for $120 million. That is crazy, guys. That is not Chow's money. He's robbed the money. Uh, not from us, but from many other rich people. Because his name is Mr. Chow, so he does rob people. But we just robbed the Mr. Chow. And you don't want to get messy with Mr. Chow. But we have arrived at our island. Uh, our transport, our helicopter should be here uh, later uh, in about 20 minutes. So I'm going to start unloading these gold pallets. Alright boys, I'm going to get these unloaded. And if you did enjoy today's video, uh, make sure to smash the like button. But uh, we did get away with $120 million. Um, And thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys later.